it's the beginning of a new day. And Southwest Transit is there. Whether it's work, school, or play, Southwest Transit is there to make wherever it is you're going productive, enjoyable, and most of all, stress-free. Back in 1986, the state legislature gave communities the opportunity to have their own bus systems, to not be reliant on the larger system. One of the issues and concerns we had is that uh, we were receiving one bus a day. The dollars that were going in to support transit services to our area weren't supporting the service needed to meet our demand. So the opt-outs were born. Chaska and Chanhassen and Eden Prairie got together to capture our transit tax dollars and started our own transit system. Like many startup organizations, the early years presented challenges. It was noisy, it was infrequent, and it was smelly. <laughs> no, it was not something you brag about. When I started, the fleet we had, you probably shouldn't even call it a fleet. We had shade carpeting in the ceilings, holes in the floor, the heaters didn't work. I guess what I would say is it was not a real sophisticated service. It had older buses, ones that we could afford to buy. Uh, it was constantly working to fine-tune what routes it took. Southwest Transit was facing a declining ridership, financial disarray, few assets, unreliable service, poor public awareness, and an unfavorable perception. They were tied to a costly service contract that allowed them little control over operations, all of which led to a lack of confidence from both local and regional governments. It was a weekly and monthly battle to uh, retain the dollars that we had and, and get the dollars that we needed for the buses uh, to uh, run a successful system. In the mid-90s, the agency realized it needed to affect a back-to-basics philosophy, putting emphasis on reliability, cleanliness, comfort, safety, and heightened customer service. Turning things around was almost like starting from scratch. A rebranding took place to give Southwest Transit a modern, more luxurious feel. We started with 13 buses. Um, they were pretty much close to broken down and, and getting their last years of service. Now we have state-of-the-art equipment and state-of-the-art facilities. The first thing to do? Find the right people. They began focusing on hiring employees who would share their new operating philosophy. Employees that would approach Southwest Transit with a can-do attitude. One of the things we really seek out are, are drivers who are professional minded and people who uh, can give the outstanding customer service that Southwest expects for all of their passengers. Each one of the buses says, expect the best. And that's not just a saying, that's a commitment. It's all about the customer experience with us, not only our facilities, but our buses and our driver services. Passengers are always first in our book. We can have a bus drop off at 10 o'clock at night, be done. The driver's been working eight hours. Someone can say, I got on the wrong bus. We don't say get off the bus. We take them where they need to go, help them if we have to make a connection, whatever. We will never let them be stranded. New vehicles were added with the addition of coach buses. The riders are so happy with the bus service. Um, the comfort level, the Wi-Fi, the use of their time. While they're on a bus, they can be working, they can be reading, they can be chatting with friends. It's really evolved from a company that had different sized vehicles to the really safe coach vehicles. These buses could accommodate more passengers. They brought down maintenance costs, and that led to providing a more reliable service. I like Southwest. Why? Because those buses are always full. They provide express service, which is what people want to get into downtown Minneapolis and to other events. Additional service was added. These included a midday service, one of the first services to the U of M, as well as service to the state fair and other special events. You can go to the Twins, the Vikings. Uh, most of the sporting events uh, ride their buses down for, for very uh, inexpensive pricing. But the best, I still think, is the State Fair. The opportunity to ride the bus 
to the State Fair is second to none. When we started service to the State Fair, we were providing under 20,000 rides. Now we're providing over 100,000 rides in that same 12-day period. You can just sit here, relax, have a good time. You don't have to worry about driving in, 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 the, in the traffic. So this is just less hassle, so convenient. And that's how my kids and I travel when we come to the State Fair because it's so much more relaxing. Didn't want to go with anything super, else. Super comfy ride. Oh yeah. Yeah. I definitely recommend it. A major milestone was when Southwest Transit constructed one of the most beautiful bus transit oriented developments in the country, Southwest Station. One thing that sets us apart is our innovation. Innovation in how we deliver our services using coach vehicles to the stations that we operate out of. This is very different than from what you'll find in other places around the country. The design of this development allowed the operations to smoothly transition on and off one of the most trafficked roads in the area. Southwest Transit uh, offers so many commuters that ride to downtown and relieves that traffic that we have as soon as you hit the Eden Prairie area on 212. What a wonderful way to get downtown and just feel so at ease and knowing that there's dozens, perhaps hundreds of in, um, individuals that made the smoothness of that ride possible. People want a lifestyle that allows them to get to and from work and to and from their places of convenience, if you will, without a huge hassle. Southwest has given us that experience. And that's precisely what the customer wants. And that's the kind of involvement that entices government to say, let's build more partnerships. As a result of these efforts in less than 10 years, Southwest Transit realized more than 100% in ridership growth and had become one of the highest users of park and ride stalls in the region. It's been remarkable to see the growth that Southwest has had. Since I've been here, we've opened three new stations, the Village, the Chanhassen Transit Station, and East Creek Station, and the amount of riders that utilize those stations now has, has grown vastly. I would applaud Southwest Transit for one, being in the business as early as they were, and for growing according to the needs of our population and providing predictable, safe, and comfortable transportation. It's absolutely ideal, and by the way, very affordable. The bus service is extremely reliable. More importantly, we are serving customers with great deal of satisfaction. Over 99% satisfaction level from Southwest Transit over the last many, many years. As I look around at the many awards that we've got on this back wall here, it really strikes me uh, what a wonderful service we are providing for our community and the, the model that we make for other transit services within our area and in fact all around the country. We've won national safety awards for many years, uh, top transit organization. Uh, we've won um, customer service awards and uh, other types of awards as well. It's, it really says a lot about who we are and we really looked up and respected by other transit agencies, not just locally, but also around the entire uh, nation. When asked, customers have overwhelmingly given Southwest Transit a satisfied or very satisfied rating in each of the past five years. With vehicle breakdowns over four times less than the national average, the express service features some of the lowest subsidized routes in the region. This organization has its fingers on the pulse. From uh, establishing good planning, it is visionary and understands what the customers want. And with strong planning and the development of Southwest Station, the innovation hasn't stopped. Southwest Transit has creatively pioneered a new type of service with Southwest Prime. This has become the lowest subsidized demand response system in the region, as well as one of the lowest nationally. And with outside the box thinking, what better and more cost-effective way to generate ridership and revenue than using their own buses to advertise Southwest Transit services? As those in our communities continue to grow and thrive, Southwest Transit will do the same right along with you. We often get asked where we see Southwest Transit going in the future, especially with rail coming into our service area. We know we're going to be changing, but not that drastically. We'll still provide express services. We'll still provide the quality services we're known for. But we'll be looking at different ways uh, to provide service, a lot more localized service than maybe we do today. We are also looking at new technologies such as automated vehicles. 
This is something that could be easily adapted in our service area and something we are currently working with the state on. Chaska, Chanhassen, and Eden Prairie continue to grow, and with that growth and with that housing and jobs, uh, this is uh, exactly what we need is Southwest Transit and a well-run transit system. We have a lot of single-family housing going on. We have a lot of multi-family housing going on. And I, I still think that the bus service is part of why we're having so much development out in the Southwest. Southwest Transit, not just serving a community with excellence, but part of an excellent community. We've been able to uh, utilize the, their bus service during the Ryder Cup, their parking ramp. They've helped us with community events. Len has done such a great job in building this bus service because he understands the importance of being part of a community. And that's the way I look at this. This is kind of a community bus service. It's one of those services that have been there a long time and it's just great to have and um, one of those things you'd certainly miss if you didn't have it. Southwest is here as a strong partner. We've always been here, we will continue to be here and we will help in any way we can to help our passengers and our community be safe and secure as it relates to transit. Southwest Transit will continue to provide the quality services we're known for today. The highest level of service possible and our customers can always expect the best with our operation.